going on YouTube? Joseph Robinson here. Hey, listen, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but Vito, V T H O, it's the gas for vet. I need you to check this out. I made a video on it a couple months ago or a month ago, whatever. I need you to look into this. It is doing a run, and that's probably because vet is taking off. What's going on, YouTube? Joseph Robinson. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and knock the notification bell. V Chain V4. Listen up, because this thing is moving a little bit more than it used to. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's moving up, and I think it's because of VET. But check it out. The V Chain Thor blockchain consists of two token systems the V Chain token VET, which will act as a store and transfer of value, and V Chain Thor Energy, aka V Thor. V Tho. All right. Let's check it out. Vito is needed to pay for writing data to the V Chain Thor blockchain. This means that every transaction that's happening, sending tokens or sending data to a smart contract, has to be paid for in Vito. The amount of Vito that is needed for a transaction depends on the size of data you want to send, basically, for every transaction. A simple VET transaction costs you around about 30 Vito or so. So while sending a transaction filled with data to a smart contract can only cost, can only cost a thousand Vito or so. So listen, the connection, both VET and Vito are essential for the, v for the V chain Thor blockchain to function properly. VET generates Vito. So by holding VET, check it out. You're automatically going to get the Vito. So if you don't want to buy it, you don't have to. It's you, you, you buy VET. You're gonna automatically get the Vito or the Vitor. But without VET, there is no Vitor generated. Without Vitor, there is no way to pay for VET transactions. So guess what? You can't do one without the other, but you can buy one without the other and make some money. Check this out. I, I'm just gonna go in here so I can show you. I'm kind of done explaining uh, at this point, but uh, let me go here to, to uh, Binance. Now, I got about 5 million Vitor, and I told you guys about this about maybe about a month ago or so. Vitor token. Got about 5 million right now. I had put a sell order in, but right now sitting at, uh, let me let me go here and take a look. Um, anyway, as it's increasing, we're just at 8,000, but this is a combination of my Do Dogecoin, Dogecoin, and uh, Vitor token. I'm trying to get to the... Uh, Nope, that's the wrong one. Sorry, guys. Come on. Stay with me. That's VET. Look at VET. Three cents right now. It's moving. It was just at two cents, but it's moving up. It's going. So, you know, guess who what's going to follow? V Though. Look at that chart. Right? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Look at that. We got a little cup down and going back up. Where is it going to settle? I don't know. But here's the order book right here. This level two. Just showing you what's going on right now. All of a sudden, it's going up. Look at that cup and handle. Look at that. I, I'm loving it. We're the little barcode down there, but we're out of that barcode. We are headed up. So listen, if you don't have this in your portfolio, you might want to add it. You may want to add this. 0 0.0026. This could be penny soon. Three months, four months, a year. I don't know, but it could hit a penny. And it could hit more than that. But it's going to do it slowly. This is over a longer period of time. This is going to increase. Anyway, Joseph Robinson, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and knock the notification bell. If you decide to get in, go ahead and get in. It's up to you. I'm not a financial advisor. Just a suggestion. <laughs>